Hi everyone, join me as I explore the northern part of Victoria and discover the origins of Ned Kelly. Hi everyone, and welcome to Dan's Destinations. My friend Yun and I had planned to travel up north to catch the King Valley Balloon Festival this year, but it was cancelled at the last minute. We couldn't cancel our accommodation, so we decided to explore the other areas. Also, you can watch my earlier video on the Balloon Festival at the link in the description. On this trip, we travel up north to Wangaratta, stopping by Seymour to visit the Vietnam War commemorative walk. We then stopped by Glen Rowan to visit the historical sites of Ned Kelly's last stand and then on to Wangaratta. We also stopped by the Eldorado Dredge and McAvoy Tavern. We also covered more sites like the HMAS Otway Submarine and the Sido Art Trails in my subsequent videos, so stay tuned for those. Also, YouTube says less than 2% of you are subscribed, so help a mate out and smash that like and subscribe button. After 2 hours of driving, we arrive at Seymour which is next to Pakapanil Army Base and home of the Army Tank Museum, which I'll show in another video later. Seymour is also home to the Vietnam Veterans Commemorative Walk, which is a memorial site dedicated to honouring the service and sacrifice of Australian military personnel who served in the Vietnam War. It was officially opened on October 2013 and was a community-driven project initiated by local volunteers and veterans who wanted to create a lasting and meaningful memorial. As you arrive, you will be greeted by one of the iconic military vehicles of the Vietnam War. The Bell UH-1 helicopter, commonly known as the Huey, was widely used during the Vietnam War and holds a special place in the hearts of veterans and visitors. Past the Huey, you arrive at the central walkway, which is lined with plaques, sculptures and displays that tell the story of the Vietnam War and the experiences of Australian soldiers. You can also see a Centurion tank, a symbol of Australian military firepower during the conflict. The Centurion tank is a British-made main battle tank, which was developed by the UK after World War II and was introduced into the Australian Army in the early 1950s. It was deployed to South Vietnam during the Vietnam War from 1962 to 1972. A significant feature of the memorial is the Wall of Remembrance. This wall is inscribed with the names of Australian military personnel who lost their lives during the Vietnam War. It stands as a solemn tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. The establishment of this memorial is a testament to the strong community support and commitment to honouring veterans, showcasing the deep respect and gratitude of the community to those who served in the Vietnam War. We next drove up to Glenrowan, a small town that holds an important place in the country's history. Glenrowan is known as the site of the last stand of Ned Kelly, 
a notorious Australian outlaw who was also a folk hero to many. Kelly was a poor bush ranger and often in trouble with the law. In 1878, an incident in his home state caused him to go on the run for two years, with his mother being sentenced harshly for abetting him. Kelly and his gang went on raids across the region, demanding justice for his family and the rural poor. The police at the time were not like the professional force you see today, with corruption and excessive violence rife, and some of the populace viewing them as just another criminal gang with uniforms. Hence, Kelly gained a lot of support amongst the locals when he conducted his raids and bank robberies while calling out the unjust persecution by the police. Kelly himself was known for his distinctive suit of armour made of metal plates that he wore during his final confrontation with the police in Glen Rowan. Visitors to Glen Rowan can learn more about Kelly and his gang at the Ned Kelly Museum. The museum features artifacts and exhibits that explore the life and legacy of this infamous outlaw. Visitors can also see a replica of the armour Kelly wore during the siege, with the original being on display at the Victoria State Library in Melbourne. At the back of the museum, there's a replica of the Kelly homestead. You can see how Ned lived with his mother and family. Inside, you will find a very detailed recreation of the homestead and the kind of life that they live. Aside from the museum, we also took a walk to explore the town's historical sites, including the railway station where the police were supposed to arrive on the night of his last stand, and the Glen Rowan Inn, which is the site of Kelly's final showdown with the police. Kelly and his gang sought to ambush a police task force sent to Glen Rowan by sabotaging the railway lines. However, the police discovered the sabotage and this led to the siege and shootout at the inn. The inn was burned down during the siege, but you can see information markers showing where Kelly and the police were situated. Kelly sought to flank the police in his armour, but was shot in the leg and captured. He was subsequently tried and hanged in Melbourne. Despite his arrest, thousands turned out at street rallies across Melbourne a week before his execution, demanding clemency. As you explore Glen Rowan, take a moment to reflect on the town's rich history and the role that Ned Kelly played in shaping Australia's national identity. We next drove up and checked into the Wangaratta Caravan Park. This park has both camping grounds and cabins for rental at affordable prices. The kitchen has a stove top, fridge, kettle and air conditioning. The rooms were spacious and it is suitable for short stays, although it is a bit dated. We took a short drive to the Eldorado Gold Dredge, which I shot in a previous video. We then dropped by McAvoy Tavern a short distance away, which has the distinction of being Victoria's smallest pub. In the evening, we had dinner at the atrium in Wangaratta. The food was very good and it was a good way to end the day.
the next day, we visit the HMAS Otway submarine and also Beach World. Do join us for that video and thanks for watching.